This is the umpire strikes back or USB if you're texting. A quiz in which two teams do battle over ESPN's classic archive. Right. Des's teammate you. today is broadcaster Mark Pugat. Hey. Now, I like to do a little bit of research, and uh, my uh, research tells me that your family, Mark, are the only people in the UK with the name Pugach, and that your grandfather arrived from the Ukraine on a donkey. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> the first bit's definitely true, the second bit, probably true. Ah, yes. Right, okay. Although, to be fair, that is how Des gets here from Glasgow as well. Not on a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a ton ticket now, it's great. <laughs> how did the donkey manage with the, ch the, over the overland a bit? How did the donkey manage with the channel? Uh, what, before the Channel Tunnel, do you mean? Yeah. I'll just stick them on a stick them on a ferry. They're quite happy. Yeah. Uh, speed boat. Yeah. yeah, speed boat. Speed yeah. boat. Yeah. 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 Just the footballers yeah. to go with the speed boat. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> Mark <laughs> is an import, a partial sports broadcaster. Yeah. So if we tell you which team he supports, he'd have to kill us, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have yeah. to kill you. It's yes. Arsenal. Uh, so uh, <laughs> let's have a look at yours and Dez's buzzer. Go. There you go. Wow. Right. It's um, Spurs oh, jugging oh, legend. It's the Gary FA Cup. Do you want to give Gary Lineker a? Bash, there we go. Right, both buzzers are working. Let's get going. Right, Des and Mark, we'll start with you. You get the heroes. Uh, three people here celebrating some pretty impressive last hurrahs. Take a look. Oh, yeah. Right, who were the three that you saw? Well, we got Carl Lewis. Was that the first one? Couldn't, couldn't see the first okay. one. Okay. <laughs> now, hang on a minute. What, the TV screen that we gave you is too small? <laughs> hang right. on a minute. He's just, he's just emulating his manager. He couldn't yeah, see it. I couldn't see it. I didn't see anything right. And where he was sitting on the bench there. Right. Uh, so I'll say it was Carl Lewis because yeah, I'm Lewis. young and I've got good eyesight. Um, <laughs> Second one's Navrat. Definitely not. Is that, is that what she's called now? Navrat. 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 Navrat to her friends. Navrat to her friends. Okay. Navrat. Navrat. What does she call her Satnav? <laughs> <laughs> And the third is, uh, was Dino Zoff. Dino Zoff Dino's left in the World Cup. Winning the World Cup. You have got all three right. Yeah, well we done. I'm going to give the teams a number relating to a moment of legendary sport. Now, this is on the buzzers. You must guess what the number relates <coughs> to. But I'd prefer it if you made me laugh, because then I'll give you points. If you don't make me laugh, but give me the right answer, you will have spoilt it for everybody, and we have to end the round there. OK? Guess as many times as you like, but you have to slap your Spurs legends on the head. Today's magic number, everybody, is 36. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Is that where? <laughs> I'd be happy with that. Is it, uh, on average, how many times Ray Parler and Tony Adams appeal for offside in the first half? <laughs> <laughs> Can you rephrase that? So Tony Adams. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> is it Wayne Rooney's IQ? That's rude. Rude? Dar Leave Dar him alone. Dar hang, on, hang on a minute. Darwin's Scottish life expectancy was all right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'll tell you that. But Wayne Rooney's IQ. Yeah. It's at the amount of years since Scotland last qualified for a major tournament. Oh. Look at that team! Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't touch me now. Right, well, you two saw this out, I'm going to give you the answer. Uh, this is the one that I wasn't really looking for. It's the number of goals scored by our bro. Buzz in if you can fill in the blanks. I have two in my room this week. Woke up this morning, one had died. Gerbils. Ger no, it right. isn't. OK, let's have a look at another one. Here's a second tweet from Ian Poulter. Now then, I desperately need... I need to find somebody in Orlando who can... <laughs> right. The toilet? <laughs> uh, hold me... <laughs> <laughs> you two haven't quite got this team thing worked out, have you? I've been in Tesco. Well, well, <laughs> no, I. Yo, Till going. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's that's it. that's, 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 that's the payment's going out of your account. <laughs> <laughs> That's me waiting. Is it true that you are eighth in line to the Ukrainian throne? <laughs> now, I, I, I read this on Wikipedia, oh, right. and you can't believe everything no. you read on Wikipedia. Ray's entry says he's the most underrated footballer of his generation. But <laughs> is that bit true for you? Sadly not. Right. So, so you, are, are you anything in line to the Ukrainian throne? No, there is no such thing, and there never has been, oh, right, as okay. the Ukrainian throne. Well, that's very disappointing. Which, which is the flaw in the whole argument. Yeah. Daffy, got yeah. a good gag about Ray, yeah. though. So, uh, <laughs> uh, before, the good. <laughs> before the break, I asked you to fill in the blanks in this quote from golfer Ian Poulter's Twitter feed. What a laugh we had thrashing. They handled amazing. Uh, you can have a guess if you want. Teams, anybody? Is on it the Colin puzzle? Montgomery's moobs? <laughs> <laughs> I should uh, tell you both, as you're both Arsenal fans, that Poulter is famous for his dress sense, isn't he? And he once wore an Arsenal shirt while playing in a tournament. Do you remember that? 
uh, no. no. No, it didn't work Shoes. out. It didn't work out too well for him. He kept trying to walk the ball into the hole. <laughs> he, he, looked, he looked fantastic, but he didn't win anything. Which <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did he play with one arm in the air? <laughs> yeah. I knew that. Do you well, um, the Ray? He entered. Place, this is fantastic. Uh, he injured his hand trying to undress a woman. I can feel Ray perking up from here. <laughs> really? He actually sliced it. He was trying to remove her bra, and he he cut his fingers. It's so utterly ridiculous, it's probably true. Yeah, it sounds... Probably, isn't it? It's one of those things where it couldn't possibly be true because it's so stupid, so therefore... Yeah. It must be. By that logic, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. is no logic, no logic. No logic at we're going to say it has That's to be true. true. So you're saying it's true, he really was laid up in that way? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, is it true? Give it the old double By the logic face. of the it's so silly, it has to be logically silly. Yes, it's true. It's true! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. They tried to help us out of it, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, award you points if you convince me me or just make me laugh that that moment in 86 would have been better if so you don't need the buzzers you don't need to slap them this time all you've got to do is start your answers with it would have been better if it'd be better if he'd been sent off when he should have been sent off for him balling it then. it's still bitter yes <laughs> I'm, a Pal I'm a palace fan i haven't got anything to be bitter about there <laughs> it would have been better if terry fennick hadn't already been booked because then he would have brought him down he'd have chopped him in half he would yeah that's it would have been true. better if yeah. maradona was english yeah. <laughs> That'd be mad if we have been a good side We might have won it that year. Hey, well, yeah. The logic there is right, that would have been the world's best own goal then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got quite a shot going the other way. It'd be better if he was playing against a good team, let's be honest. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, I want to take this yeah, every yeah. single episode. Let me enjoy this. <laughs> better if we showed it again. <laughs> no, uh, right, I'm going to give, uh, I think for that, I'll give you 10 Buzzers, points. But, it's uh, the big uh, ask. So here we go, get, get ready. How many fights did Joe Calzaghe go undefeated? 46. 46 is right. Wow. Um, and How Glenn, dare you? Very good. <laughs> How dare you assume I'd got that wrong? He won't know that. He's <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> right. Glenn Hoddle preferred which Spurs midfielder to Ray Parler in his 1998 World Cup squad? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, sick note. Darren Anderson. Darren Anderson. No. You saw. Oh, now you spoiled the gag now because the next question was, what was Darren Anderson's nickname? Signo. Signo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the final scores then. Dez's team has 33 points. Kevin's team has 49 oh, points. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, Thank you very much to all my guests. This has been the Umpire. Oh, right. Back with me, Mark Chapman. The Umpire. See you next time. Bye.